I was experimenting with ray tracing and accidentally It turned out to be a Subway Surfers, but Cyberpunk 2077 edition. In this video, we will show you briefly how we created this video game. This is Ramiz al from Binary Lunar and let's get started. Create a new Unity project and scene using the high definition rendering pipeline. Activate the retracing by enabling the DXR in the HD render pipeline. Get some free dummy 3D models with animations from the Unity Asset Store. Drag the dummy character to the scene and upgrade its material to HDRP. Add running animation. Create a plane, then duplicate that to form the starting ground which the player will walk on. Create a script that moves the plane. Then create a script that spawns any prefab game object in the scene over time. Then keep experimenting with the spawn rate till you get a good spawning without any gaps or overlapping. Add a capsule collider and a rigid body so the character can walk on the ground, physically. Then my partner Lena provided me with a script to move the character in lanes in addition to rotating it when it's moved left and right in addition to triggering the jumping and sliding animations. Bring some more animation, jumping and sliding animations, then link them using triggers to be triggered using a code. Test the game, find some bugs, then fix them. And now our player movement mechanics working perfectly. Oops. Seems this dummy can't even walk, so let's replace it with high quality character. I found this asset in Unity Asset Store. It's called Biomechanical Mutant. Create a reflective material to see how the ray tracing working, then apply it to the planes. And now we can see the reflection of the character on the ground. Now it's time to make our cyberpunk mutant to turn into ragdoll when it hits an obstacles. So create a ragdoll by linking the correct limbs to the ragdoll creator in Unity. Test the ragdoll by disabling the animator manually. Nice. Hey, what happened? Time to create our first obstacle. When the obstacle hits a player, it will trigger enabling the ragdoll and kill the player. So let's create a cube, add to it movement so it moves in the direction of the player and make it destroy after time. So we do pooling avoiding spawning a lot of objects to keep performance going smoothly. Hey, what happened? Game prototype is ready, let's make it beautiful. I couldn't find any good free assets for that, so I bought the Cyberpunk City from the Unity Asset Store. The city is too big and resources consuming, so I sliced a small street from it to be a section to be spawned regularly in the game. Adjust the ray tracing settings till you reach satisfying, shiny, reflective, awesome graphics. Then add some post-processing. Add additional directional light to the scene to give that atmospheric feeling. Welcome to Night City. Mm -hmm. 
Make the camera more dynamic by applying Cinemachine and make the camera follow the character and as a handheld noise to it. Add some decorations and some obstacles to make the street alive. Then add the GTA wasted effect unintentionally. And of course add a score to the game to make it meaningful and have a goal. Then I added more areas, one of them is the metro section with some obstacle and also a train spawner. For each area I created around 3 alternatives to give some randomization when spawning the next area. The third area I created was a futuristic cyberpunk bridge where I will spawn cars with high speed also uh, quadcopters in addition sometimes to buses. Then I thought why not adding a cop car following the character to give a reason for why he is running like the subway surfers. To make the game more interesting I created a short intro using Cinemachine and the timeline. And finally the only thing left is the music so please welcome my friend Makel who produced the music for our cyberpunk surfer game. Hello my name is Makel and I produced the music for the cyber themed runner game. I'm a producer of 16 years and a YouTuber of 4. Uh, a couple years ago I played a game called Avacuddle and it was developed by a friend of mine who developed this game as well. And he found out I made music through my YouTube channel and asked me to make the music for this. When he told me what he wanted, I imagined something almost prodigy-like, but with a future twist. So that's kind of what I ended up using as my influence for the soundtrack. Um, I use FL Studio, and I used a couple loops, but I mainly wanted to get that main synth, that grindy synth sound down that you hear in the beginning of the soundtrack and at near the end as well. Um, that was very important to me to get that sound because that sound is kind of, it signifies that, that mood basically. It's very action-y sounding. There's also some dubstep-y <laughs> sounds in there. Uh, but I thought it fit the theme. I tried to make it fit the theme, and I think it turned out pretty well. Um, if you guys want to watch me play video games or listen to any of my video game music, I make video game raps and songs on my YouTube as well. You can come follow me at uh, Mackle. It's just M-A-K-L, and you can search me up. I should be one of the first that pop up on YouTube. My name is kind of unique, I think. <laughs> anyway... Thank you, I hope you enjoy the game, and I'm looking forward to all the feedback. Everything is set up and ready, I'll leave you with some recordings of the actual gameplay. Of course, I'll upload the game to itch.io so you can try it, and you need, of course, at least a GPU from NVIDIA 1060 to run the game smoothly. And in this event, I would like to announce a small contest for the best top 3 players who record highest records on my game. So when you try the game, please comment down below with a screenshot of your highest score and the top three players will get a free key for my game Afocuddle on Steam by the end of this year. Enjoy watching and leave your feedback when you finish.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next videos. Regarding our dear Patreons, I will only be able to publish the prototype of this game, not the full game, because it contains paid assets and that's against the rules of the Unity Asset Store. Thankful for your generous donations on Patreon, Darius Cartiniatis, Elwood Zastri, Mia Beecham, Mr. Green 232, Jos Enrique, RT Lankev, Fire Lumen, Pira Chambunchen, Sergey Makrushin, Kev Tesler, Fu RTS, Shahar Bar, Olex Six Peaks, Dimitri Vasiliev, Bredman, Joshua Kratoshville, Parker Nelson, Giacomo Mariani, Jas Lee Fever, Pedro, Jans Valentine, and Jack Bristol. Till next video, see you soon.